So yeah, this cognitive dissonance is the, the, the buzz phrase, was the buzz phrase about this, this thing where people, even when presented with the truth, because that truth does not sit with the seeds that have been planted deep in their psyche, something is bad and you tell them it's good and they, they cannot reconcile these two things. Even, as I say, intelligent, well-reasoned, what I would call normal people. They have been fed of this thing. This, this, these seeds have been planted deep and it's every day, every day, every day. The MSN, the mainstream media, the mainstream mania, as I call it, which is owned by the corporations. And the corporations are the things that own the governments in the West. So who's pulling the strings? The corporations who have had a hegemony over the planet for a long, long time. And they see that slipping away. And their desperation with Ukraine, with Taiwan, with Myanmar, Thailand even, their desperation makes this time a dangerous time. Um, I'm hoping to be catching up with Brian Baletic uh, before I leave Thailand and have a good, a good old chinwag with him. So that's something to look forward to. Um, I'll keep you posted as to if and when that is going to happen. I'm hoping it does because uh, it's been a while we've known each other as friends and comrades and uh, we should meet, he and I, actually. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day. As you can see, it's not bad. I'm going to have a bit more coffee and a cigarette and uh, a nice big fat cheesy omelette from somewhere up there and uh, then probably go and have another swim and I will maybe add to this video later if, as, as thoughts come to me. But the question arises before I feel I'm close on this point. The question arises, what is to be done about this? Because the soft power where China is always losing and, and because of the terrain, I'm not sure what the answer is. The terrain, the landscape is owned by the corporations who are rabidly anti-China, they own the territory, the MSM, the mainstream mania, they own it. So it, it, it means that China has a long uphill battle to, to counter this negative perspective of China that exists right around the world, in the global north. And Europe, Eurasia is an important thing for China because it, it's trade, it's, it's the BRI. And, and uh, perceptions need to be changed. People need to be given and allowed to see another perspective, another side, the, the other side to the story. That's what I've been trying to do for eight years, so I will continue. And uh, I'll catch up with you later. I'm uh, in there. <laughs> right about now.